Hey guys, so there's lots of things I want to cover, but for now I'm going to stick to the PV, finishing the PV install from after the last video, which was super simple. You can't get much easier. Um, also, I want to get into load testing. So some of the loads I've run with it. Uh, this morning we were running well. Uh, my w wife was washing dishes. She was cooking on the stove top and using the oven and running the dryer. And I was out here in the shop and it was running it uh, you know, just managing it flawlessly. It would go up to 14 if it needed to, and then go down to nine. Uh, it's also extremely quiet. That's why I'm not using my mic now, even though it echoes kind of obnoxiously. I just wanted to let you guys all hear that there, it's kind of like the sound of silence. There's nothing going on uh, with the unit unless you're around 6,000 watts. So right now, I'm not gonna drag the camera over so you'll have to take my word for it. We are, a little over 2,000 watts of PV coming in. It's very overcast today. And almost 3,000 watts we're using in the house. Uh, and yeah, it just doesn't do anything uh, sound-wise until you get around 6,000 uh, PV or you are using around 6,000 watts. Otherwise, it's like it's asleep. As a matter of fact, <laughs> my wife went into the shop the other day and asked if I had switched everything over to grid because it was silent in here. And I told her, no, it's on, it just, it just kind of hibernates until it's needed. <laughs> so it's really, it's really neat in that regard. When I first turned it on, got everything straight and turned it on and put loads on it, I thought it was broken because <laughs> the screen had already gone blank, it timed out. And so I didn't think, I thought there was something wrong. And then of course I flipped the light switch in here and uh, yeah, it, <laughs> it was on, it just doesn't make any noise. So it kind of surprises you at first. So yeah, I'm gonna do some load testing today at the end of the video, uh, and we'll see how much we can push the unit. Also, uh, I'll try to get it at around half load and see if I can start the AC. Now the AC, my AC, is only two and a half ton with a soft start. Uh, the well is really my largest inductive load, and uh, it handles that fine, so I'll, I'll try to include that in the video also. I will talk about my array uh, that I've hooked up to this, the size of all my panels and everything, and, um, you know, just go into that final bit of PV install, which was super simple. So here's my largest array. This is a right around eight kilowatt array. And this is, uh, paralleled now. So before, when I had my MPP units, the LV6548, I had one string here, one string here, then paralleled in the combiner box, and string, string, and paralleled. Um, after I got my 6500s, I just kept it that way. It was already run that way, so there was no need to change it. When I got this unit, I run, I ran 10 and 10, and I paralleled them in the combiner box I already have, and I ran that to the first, the larger MPPT in the unit. So yeah, in my combiner box, I'm basically just using side A. So I am paralleling into this, just one breaker here, but I figured it's worth, I already had everything wired this way anyway, and for lightning protection, it's actually kind of nice. So yeah, this unit or this one A is already being paralleled here and going into the first MPPT. Here's the second array. I combined both these strings together. So it's a string of 10. Uh, the amperage, I believe, is right at almost 10 for this, so it's like 9.8 or something. Uh, same panels, just smaller uh, array. So these are bifacials also. So this is right at 500 volts, just shy of 500 volts, and right at 10 amps going in. So this is going to be, a, this was on the second string. Actually, I think I put it on the third string, but either way, it is the second string. Um, on the unit and then there's one up on top of my shed which i'm not actually going to climb up there and show you guys but they look like solar panels just so you know uh they are six 450 watt solar panels and that makes up the third string going into the unit so i got two of the ferrules crimped on remember what we talked about the last time long screwdriver Mm 
Nice. Cool. Looks clean. Uh, like I mentioned in the last video, this is going to stay empty. I already have them paralleled outside. Would have been fine to parallel them in here too. So the next slot over, the actual next one is here. The next input, I guess that's the word I was searching for. Yeah, that's almost too easy. <laughs> you know, I don't know how people come up with this stuff, but that is really cool. Looks like that's it. All right, so an idle consumption test. Let's look at it. 52.9 volts is what we're at. 1.3 amps. 1.3 amps. So yeah, that would probably be just around 70 watts. So, or maybe just a smidge under, depending on the accuracy of the clamp meter. At 6,100 watts from the dryer running, Now we have a cooktop on. Dryer and one burner are on. Now AC. So we have 9,100 watts. Now we'll turn the AC on, see how well it does. It's waiting. Just clicked on. There it goes. AC turned on. Now. Yep. So the outdoor unit with the soft start did just fine with it at, at 9,000 watts. A 2.5 ton outdoor unit started up fine. All right, so this is everything on the double oven and the cooktops. See how accurate it is to the clamp meter. Just over 14. Yeah, still rolling. Fourteen fifty, right around fourteen forty nine. This looks like an advertisement for Klein tools here. <laughs> Still over 14 kilowatts. Still going. Just over 14.
funny to hear this much noise coming from the unit when it's so quiet normally. We're at 12,000. Some of the burners must be cycling. Must be heated up. Back to 13, 13, 5. Over 14. There it goes. Okay. Well, guys, that's going to about wrap it up. So in the next one, I do want to cover the Wi-Fi. Uh, I didn't cover it in this one because I didn't want it to go on too long. I had to do a couple things to get it installed. I am not a tech person, but it works really good now. Uh, if you've got any more questions, please feel free to leave them below. I'm going to be doing more testing and there'll be more videos coming up. Thanks for watching.